Good morning, Lighthouse, day five. Thanks for joining with me again today. Um, at this point of the fast, every single year, um, I start to reflect on exactly what I'm fasting for. I know, like me, many of you have a list of things that you want to see happen in 2013. Uh, you, you have in your heart uh, several things that you're specifically fasting for personally. Uh, I know as a church, corporately, we're fasting uh, for souls and fasting for families and we're fasting for spiritual growth in so many different areas but you in your own personal life you have addictions and habits and pains and uh, areas of your life that you really need God to take control of and more importantly you need a breakthrough and uh, you need to be set free uh, from some of that in 2013 and so I know that's why you're focusing in uh, the next few days and taking the first 21 days of the month and just saying, you know what, God, it's all about you. Uh, I want to humble myself and if I can take away TV for 21 days or if I can take away a meal for 21 days and if I can uh, stop looking at Facebook and any kind of social media for 21 days, if that'll help me focus in on you and get me past this addiction or this habit or this bondage, then I'm more than willing to do that. Uh, we find in Scripture in Matthew chapter 17 Jesus records this. The disciples uh, were doing exactly what Jesus had taught him taught them to do. They were trying to cast out demons out of a demon-possessed boy, and they'd done all they can do. They'd done all that Jesus had taught them to do, and they come to Jesus and said, we've done everything you've taught us to do. What, what's going on? Why can't we cast this demon out? And Jesus makes a statement to them in verses 18 through 21 said, listen, you have little faith, like he did many times with the disciples. He questioned their faith, but he said, you know what? If you just have the faith as small as a mustard seed, you could tell to this mountain, be moved into the sea, and it would be done. And he goes on to say in verse 21 that this kind only comes out through prayer and through fasting. I know that there are things in your life that you've overcome simply, simply through prayer. But I believe today, I know that there's been things in my life that I had to combine both prayer and fasting for God to remove it from my life. And so as you move forward in this fast, remember there are certain things in your life that are only going to be broken if you combine it with prayer and fasting. And my prayer today is, is that every addiction, every bondage, every pain, every hurt, every sin in your life and every habit would be broken through this time of prayer and fasting. Remember, church, it's not just about withdrawing from food or certain things. Your fasting has to be combined with prayer. You have to be praying and you have to be reading God's Word to, in order for God to truly release His blessing on your life. Fasting brings reward, it brings release, and it brings restoration in your life. And so I hope that today you will find that time when you're fasting to pray, to seek God, and remember that what you're fasting for is only going to come about through prayer and through fasting. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.